previously we have seen one uh, small video clip for one point as well as one of the rectangular we have seen now we will see about one a line okay a line is made up of collection of points uh, let me tell you and if you have uh, points like this one two three four five six it's, it's going like this means if you extend these lines points you will get line okay so it is starting is point but if you are putting so much of points together you will get line similarly there is line one another line another line another line another line it is going on if number of lines are coming if you join together all the lines it will get plane okay starting maybe line but we'll get plane for uh, number of planes for example you have a rectangular surfaces so one plane two three four five six so six planes are getting you will get 3d element this is the basic things you should know now come back there are few things you should know in this horizontal plane let us take the line is being like this you should use the word above in front of and parallel vertical okay let me use those words let fix this position it is is above horizontal plane in front of vertical plane and it was parallel to vertical plane as well as parallel to horizontal plane okay let me turn over this 90 degree now the situation is above horizontal plane in front of vertical plane it is parallel to vertical plane but perpendicular to horizontal plane okay now let us make one more case like this it is above horizontal plane in front of vertical plane but perpendicular to vertical plane parallel to horizontal plane okay these things you should know second let me tell now it was flat let us say 45 degree inclined to horizontal plane above horizontal plane a friend of vertical plane suppose if it is a 45 degree inclination means it should be like this in normal case whatever the front side view and top side view if you see you will get the true length okay so let us take this case it is 30 mm in front of horizontal plane and 20 mm in front of vertical plane so front side you will see this much height and this length okay let us solve this problem for this case so 30 mm above your line will be like this okay origin will be a dash n will be b dash nothing was there with the line and it having length of l okay so let us make a length l okay now the distance may be 30 mm as i mentioned let us put 30 mm okay that will be the front view and top view is 20 mm for the same length so 20 mm from the top you have to see there must be in 20 mm okay now this this distance is 20 and you have to use your hp pencil for naming this one this one marking this line and this l etc and this filling this gap for you have to use h pencil or 2h pencil to show the uh, draw this line like this extended lines okay actually the dimension should away from this line i made a small mistake you can put extended line okay okay then 20 extender line so you can extend this one extend this one now in between you can construct the line a b both lengths are same this is the case for this position okay now case 2 if it is having any angle of inclination with respect to hp let us say 45 degree for the same case 45 degree okay now how it's going to be look in front side view you can see the angle of inclination so in the front view only you can put right so what i will do this is the initial case but now it's going to have some angle of inclination so up to this i will mark okay i will put one small extended line from that i going to mark 45 degree 
so if the length whatever the length it may be i will measure i will make 45 degree inclination first then for this corresponding length i will measure it from the compass i will cut one arc okay remember when you are seeing this object like this you will get a true length but if you have angle of inclination the length will not be true length it will somewhat reduce okay now for this distance i will go ahead and i will put a dash b dash with 45 degree and for the certain length we have taken and this will be our required length okay now again we have to repeat the same procedure okay so you have to extend this line by using h pencil and you have to project it for 20 mm distance this is a this is b so this will be your two length and this what after inclination whatever the length it may be you can see it from top view similar cases for vertical plane also if vertical plane having angle of inclination means first you have to draw the top side view because in the top side only you can see how much angle of inclination it is okay so this i say if it is 45 degree means first you have to make the angle of inclination with projection that should be come here and it should go that side okay so you will get the two object so if this line is inclined with the one uh, one one plane means it is okay it is easy to we can solve by using this simple method if it is inclined to both means it's very difficult for that we have the separate classes we will see that means angle is inclined to 45 degree horizontal plane 60 degree to vertical plane it will be like this that we have two problems and we will see it in the class